Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Quickly, the Detroit Lions are six and a half point favorites over the New York Giants. That game is going to tip off in Detroit in about four hours. But let's think like gamblers for a second. You need to be careful on this game. Right, Your reference point should be the game that the Giants played in Detroit against Detroit last December. Right, Understand, if you look at that game, which the six and a half point underdogs currently, the Giants won back then, right? The Giants won that game in overtime, right? By three points. What you're going to see is that the Detroit Lions back then were unable to connect with prized wide receiver Calvin Johnson deep the entire game. In other words, Tom Coughlin, who's still the coach of the Giants, was able to limit Calvin Johnson in that game to three receptions for a whopping 43 yards. In fact, if you look deeper, you're going to see that the Giants held Detroit to 207 net passing yards in that game last December. Right? Understand, too, this is that rare game where even though the teams come from different divisions, right, the NFC East versus the NFC North, they have great familiarity with each other because they just played each other just two regular season games ago, right? Other things you need to look at, other trends, are the fact that in that game last December, the Giants actually focused on stopping Detroit's passing game. Detroit was able to run the football with huge success. Detroit, in fact, had 148 rushing yards in that game. So for the fantasy players, rather than focus on Calvin Johnson, you should be focusing on Reggie Bush and Jock Bell. Right? Now understand, there is a new dynamic. Detroit fired its coach and now has a new coach, Jim Caldwell. Right? Detroit also added another wide receiver, Golden Tate. Maybe Golden Tate is going to change the dynamic and free up Calvin Johnson a bit more. But people need to look at the other side of the coin before you gamble. You need to look at the New York Giants secondary. Right? And just understand the Giants added a huge piece to that secondary when they added Dominique Rogers Cromartie. That's a huge step up. That gives the Giants, who already are gifted in the secondary, understand guys like Antrell Roll are actually in that secondary. That gives the Giants vast improvement. Understand, too, if you look at sabermetric type numbers, you're going to realize that the Giants last year had an above average defense. Right? Understand, too, the Giants finished 7-9, and nine, but the Giants started the season 0-6. That means over the last 10 games last year, the Giants were 7-3. and three. So, just understand that this is not a game against a, between a resurgent Detroit Lion team with a high-powered, unfamiliar offense versus a giant team that sputtered in the preseason, right? Rather, this is a game between two teams that just played in this location last December, right? While Detroit has improved offensively, the Giants have improved defensively. The six and a half looks awfully big from where I sit. 
especially when you factor in the collapse at the end of last season of the Lions, right? They found a way to miss the playoffs after an excellent opening month of the season versus the resurgence of the Giants, right? So gamblers tread lightly. Hopefully these are some factors that you're considering in weighing these two teams. Don't sleep on the Giant defense. Don't sleep on Giant coaching. Right? They already know how to take Calvin Johnson out of the game. They just did so the last time they played in December of last year in this location. Also, just a further word of advice. You know, I understand that some new coaches had great first weeks. Right, Ken Wisenhunt, I'm talking about you in Tennessee. Right, but also understand that for every Ken Wisenhunt, there is a Gruden for the Washington Redskins, right? Caldwell hasn't had a lot of time to work with this Lion team. Also understand the Lions are going to be breaking in new pieces of their offense, right? Eric Ebron will be playing in his first NFL game. He's a rookie. Right? You should always view with suspicion rookies playing in their first games against masterful coaches like Tom Coughlin. Understand, Tom Coughlin has beaten Tom Brady twice in Super Bowls. Right? In both of those Super Bowls, the Giants were the team that owned the fourth quarter against Bill Belichick. If you look deeper into Coughlin's pedigree, you're going to find out that Coughlin got the Jacksonville Jaguars to the AFC Championship. And keep in mind, Jacksonville was a relatively new team in the league at that point. And you'll also find out that just like Bill Belichick, Tom Coughlin is from the Bill Parcells School of Coaching. So given the fact that Tom Coughlin has already shown that he knows how to stop Calvin Johnson in Detroit in head-to-head -head matchups between these two teams. And given that Tom Coughlin has been together with Eli Manning a lot longer, and I mean a lot longer, than Caldwell has been with Matthew Stafford, right? And also given the further distractions Detroit has had with Nick Fairley, right? Shows up, out of shape. You know, keep in mind, Eli Manning's numbers are deceiving. Right? They're really two Eli Mannings. If you're able to rush Eli Manning, if the pocket breaks down, Eli's quarterback rating goes way down. But when Eli Manning has time to throw the football, he's one of the elite quarterbacks in the game. And just understand, we're here talking about Calvin Johnson, and we're also talking about Golden Tate and Eric Ebron. Right? Maybe we should also be talking about the flip side of that coin, right? Victor Cruz and Ruben Randall. Food for thought. I think a six and a half spread is far too wide, especially since the Giants just beat the Lions in Detroit. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. Understand, we're all here trying to beat the casino. Leave them in the comment section to this video, and I hope whichever way you bet, you're able to cash tickets at the end of this game. It's happening tonight. It's the New York Giants visiting the Detroit Lions in Detroit's 2014 home season opener. Hope you enjoy the game. Thanks for stopping by.